Hey guys, welcome back. So this is the Bog Kitchen. We're gonna do something a little bit different today. We're gonna to be making some drinks. We've got some people over for a little bit of a gathering and we are having prime rib for dinner. So I thought what better thing to have with the prime rib, which is a tradition among supper clubs is to have old fashions. Now traditionally in Wisconsin, the brandy old fashioned is one of the best ways to go, but I thought I'd mix it up. I'll show you how to do my base recipe for old fashions. You can mix it up whether you wanna do brandy or whiskey, but I'll do both. Um, um, I'll show you one, but I'll show you what point you're gonna to want to put your whiskey. And there's also different ways you can do it. You can do it as a sour, or you can do it as a sweet. Now that's not the only one I'm gonna be doing. I'm also gonna do a whiskey sour, which is a family recipe. It's a little bit different, but we'll get back into that in just a little bit. But first, let's get this old fashioned started. Now everything you're going to need to make the old fashions is pretty simple. You're going to need a glass and a muddler, which is something to crush all of the ingredients. You're going to need oranges, maraschino cherries, a little bit of sugar, I use sugar in the raw. Then you're going to need some bitters, your alcohol, whether it's brandy or bourbon, and then your sweet or sour, 7-Up or Squirt. Slice up your oranges and then add an orange slice and three maraschino cherries to your glass. Now I add about half a tablespoon of sugar and then I add about eight to nine shakes of Angostura bitters. Now we're gonna muddle all of this together, which really just means crush it and mix it up really well. If you don't have a muddler, you can use a spoon or an ice cream scoop. Now we're making a brandy old fashioned sweet here, so we're gonna be adding about an ounce to an ounce and a half of Corbel brandy. Give it all a good mix, add your ice, and now since we're making it sweet, we're gonna be adding seven up. So up to this point, I've showed you how to make a brandy old fashioned sweet. Now I'm gonna show you how to make it sour, but I'm also gonna show you how to make it with brandy and whiskey. The method is completely the same, except for the final two ingredients. Now to make it sour, we're going to be using squirt, but you could also use a lemonade or a sour mix. Now this recipe for whiskey sour is meant for parties. It's a larger amount with almost 50 ounces of liquid by the time you're done. You're gonna need 12 ounces of frozen lemonade concentrate, whiskey, beer, water, two eggs, and powdered sugar. I didn't say anything about using a measuring cup because once you add in your frozen lemonade concentrate, you're gonna use that container for the rest of your measuring. You're gonna measure out your whiskey, and your water with this. And then since I'm using 12 ounces of beer, I'm just gonna add the 12 ounces of beer. Follow that up with three tablespoons of powdered sugar. Now I already know this recipe is a little unusual because we're adding beer, but now that we're adding two eggs and once we start blending this, it's gonna create a foam or a head on top of the whiskey sour, which is gonna add a nice complexity and just taste wonderful. Once everything is combined together, give it a good blend.
At the end, it's really quite simple. Add ice and serve. Now the idea for this all came around because a friend of mine, Josh, and I were talking about uh, whiskey sours in our family recipe, and this happens to be one of my family recipes. My grandfather taught me how to make it, and I thought I'd share it with all of you. All right, and there you go, guys. If you're hosting a party, whether it's for Christmas or for the new year, this is something that's easy to make, really simple, tastes great. It may seem unusual adding that egg to it, but I'm telling you, if you look at that head, you look at the froth that you get from this, it tastes amazing. It is aesthetically pleasing. It is wonderful. As far as the old fashions go, you cannot beat an old fashioned, not in Wisconsin, not with a prime rib, not during a Packer game, which it's Christmas day here right now. So we are watching the Packer game upstairs. So I have to get these going up there for everybody that's watching. So again, have a happy new year. Merry Christmas, belated. Thanks for watching everyone, and we'll see you soon.